Hey everybody, welcome to a bit button video. This is David and we're gonna be playing Drug Simulator. All right, simulations. Let's do psilocybin. Oh my God, okay, that's a lot of text. Psilocybin, Kubanis test. Oh, there we go, okay, we'll, we'll, we took one. If you're noticing any frame rate issues, that's just my computer. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not anything wrong with your playback. I apologize. Do they have a 3D glasses effect or is this just chromatic aberration? Yeah, I think it's just chromatic aberration, depending on how close or far away it is from the center of the screen. I imagine the actual psilocybin effect. Oh, <laughs> I imagine the actual psilocybin effect would be pretty hard to render. Cause yeah, spinning JPEG is not exactly what you see when you see fractals. <laughs> fractals are a lot more uh, organic than that. Look up any images you want of fractals. Ew, ew, oh, I didn't like that at all. Effect is finished. What does social harm mean? That's what I need to know. Moreover, a user can be affected differently from one trip to the next, taking the same amount and same kind of LSD. I almost said LCD. <laughs> Yeah, LCD screens are pretty unpredictable. <laughs> sometimes you'll look at video games, and sometimes you look at Wikipedia, you know? I'm not a square, I'm pretty hip. Now, I'll tell you what, I've seen a Looney Tune in my day. <laughs> when things go wrong, which often happens, it is called a bad trip. Another name for a living hell. <laughs> Press E for enjoy head of a woman by pablo picasso oh oh no oh that's that's really upsetting oh oh that's so irritating <laughs> let's do crystal meth <laughs> uh physical harm 1.8 out of three really oh god oh just looking at it makes me really uncomfortable did I take it? I guess I did. There's just no animation. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that could have been done the, with this game to make it like, I don't know, feel even more like the effects are happening to you. But hey, you know, the color changes. Oh no. I was not even remotely close <laughs> to the other paintings. Oh God, oh, spooky. <laughs> Remember, you're being watched. Fascinating. And then you just fade out and die. <laughs> just kidding, I'm sorry. Cannabis, physical harm, one out of three. So what are these numbers? What is this metric? I think this is the worst part of this game. This is a game built exactly for somebody like me, a square. Someone who never does any drugs. I can't even remember. It's like half a year or even a year since I've even had weed. I haven't done any of the other drugs in this game. Um, but I did see in the comments that uh, the marijuana effect, it <laughs> that is exactly what it's like. <laughs> He's not coughing. This game gives a zero out of five. Yeah, the marijuana effect people commented is, um, is not even close. <laughs> yeah, how is this? How is this it? I like that the timer freezes. The timer goes way slower. <laughs> it's not by seconds, it's by moments of anxiety. <laughs> oh, one more moment of anxiety, please. Heroin! Heroin, like opium and morphine, is made from the resin of poppy plants. That's wild. A symbol of remembrance in Canada is also the source of one of the most addictive and deadly drugs in the world. Most heroin is injected, creating additional risks for the user who faces the danger of AIDS or other infection on top of the pain of addiction. Yeah, if you share needles and you don't have sterilized needles, you will face the danger of AIDS and infection. But like, yeah, AIDS and infection are, are not caused by heroin, <laughs> exactly. Who the f is Suzanne? <laughs> Heroin cut me off from the rest of the world. My parents kicked me out. My friends and my brothers didn't want to see me anymore. I was all alone. Suzanne. This isn't a clean test because if the music is speed up, I might already be on something. Is this what music sounds like to people who are addicted to heroin and then they need their next fix? Okay. 
things are sparkly. And a different color. Oh no, it's way slowed down. But fucking, if we have, like, if it was at least playing the regular version of the song, then we could have a frame of reference for how much it was like slowing down or speeding up. Because it was already playing like a sped up version, it just comes across as buggy. My perspective is really not <laughs> that interesting on this stuff. I'm just like, oh, look at these color effects. I really do love a good post-processing bounce light effect. <laughs> like, I mean, there's motion blur, but no, um, you know, ghosting. I'll just do this and then I'll add what the ghosting effect is that I'm talking about. I feel like there should be some of this, right? But whatever, I guess it's all blurry. You can't see it. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. That scared me so much. <laughs> oh, that was bad. I didn't like that at all. Dead, stopped breathing. All right, cocaine. Cocaine brain damage starts with small lesions that develop on the surface of the brain and then continue to bore into the brain as the cocaine addict continues usage of the drug. Ew, here we go. Oh my God, oh my God, did it all <laughs> instead of just one. Well, look at this. I mean, look how fast I am. It doesn't matter if I'm breaking the law because I'm running too fast for police to catch me. Let's look at some charts. Great, fucking beautiful charts. Thank you for this really uh, easy to read layout. Yeah, again, with the fucking social harm dependence and physical harm. This needs to be clearer. What is the criteria of social harm dependence and physical harm? This is really bad science. I'm not contesting whether or not these drugs are socially, physically harmful or addictive. I'm just saying that like you need, you just need to be clear about what the harms are. Crocodile. <laughs> this is King K. Rool's drug of choice. Also, contrary to popular belief, marijuana can be addictive and its use during adolescence may make other forms of problem use or addiction more likely. That's interesting. I thought the popular belief was that marijuana is not chemically addictive, but psychologically addictive. Well, I don't know. I don't know like, I don't know if anything is just psychologically addictive. The only reason we do things is because there's like internal reward systems within our brains that hopefully keep us on productive paths. Here we go, serotonin and behavior. Doi. Scientists have examined the structural and molecular characteristics of the synaptic connectivity between certain serotonin neurons, dorsal raphe or DR, and dopamine neurons in the brain's ventral tegmental area. Thanks for making this really easy to understand. Next time you see someone who's really struggling with addiction, just remind them that the asymmetric synapse on mesoaccumbens dopamine neurons co-release of glutamate and serotonin from dorsal raphe combinatorial inputs on dopamine neuron target the nucleus accumbens. And then you get reward. Tobacco will kill one billion people this century. <laughs> Let's do drugs again sometime. If you know any other drug related games, please send them. <laughs> If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you really, really enjoy the kind of stuff we do here at BitButton, you can check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash bitbutton. Have a great day.